Dedication. Now, the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras Parade will look a little different tonight, but still promises to bring the sparkle. No doubt. Held at the Sydney Cricket Ground, up to 23,000 spectators will be seating, seated in the stands as marchers take to the pitch instead of Oxford Street. We're joined now by Albert Kruger, who's the CEO of the Mardi Gras and Wonder Mama, a superhero diva from Paradise Island. Welcome to you both, Wonder Mama and Albert. It's great to have you on the program this morning. Wonder Mama, thanks for getting up and getting um, so dressed up and looking so fabulous for us this morning. I always look like this. It's okay. okay. Well, um, that's amazing. Very impressive. Albert, um, as with everything in our lives, COVID is impacting everything. How is COVID impacting the Mardi Gras this year? Yes, it's a very different uh, event this year. As everyone knows, we've moved the, the parade off of Oxford Street into the SCG, but we still have 140 floats in the parade, over 5,000 people marching this evening. So super, super excited. And of course, guests like Wonder Mama are going to make an appearance and you know, make sure that everybody knows that Mardi Gras is here to stay and our social justice and community messages are as relevant as they always have been. Wonder Mama, I'm reliably informed that you are a COVID marshal. What's involved in that role? Oh, yes, I, I have been uh, appointed a COVID marshal and um, I'm just making sure everyone's social distancing, everyone is wearing their masks and uh, taking good care of themselves and each other. Are you up for the job, though? Because I imagine when everyone's in the party atmosphere, coming up and sort of separating people during Mardi Gras and encouraging social di distancing is not an easy task. Oh, I can do it. I've, I've got a lot of a lot of things under my belt. I, it's, I'm a superhero. I, under I your super belt? Under my super belt, yes. yes yeah, I love yes. that. Um, how have you been preparing for Mardi Gras, Wonder Mama? Well, we will be in the parade tonight. We are bringing Mardi Gras over the rainbow with our Wizard of Oz theme, and um, it's going to be fabulous. We're really thankful to Mardi Gras for allowing us to have a, a Mardi Gras this year, so it's wonderful that we're able to uh, to get it. Uh, we made it just... Uh, we just skimmed by last year as COVID was popping up. Um, so it's amazing we're, we're, we're able to have it again this year. Oh, but that's so true. It's, it's great, even though it's a little bit different, it's great to still have it. The theme for this year is Rise. Tell us a bit about that. Yes, so the theme is Rise that we put together this year, and it was really based around our community that has been isolated for such a long time, and for us to reconnect, and also the reason that we rise every morning to get out of bed and what, you know, what we live for and what keeps us going, and very much that same thing. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. We want to put COVID behind us and rise to this, the current challenges that our communities face from a social justice point of view as well. And what does it mean to you, Wonder Mama? One of, it's just a great celebration. We, our, our message this year is uh, heart, courage and wisdom of our community, that we rise through adversity no matter what challenges we face as a community. You know, people think that we've made it and um, we've, you know, just because we had marriage equality that that's where it's ended, but there's, you know, we've still got challenges and, and, and things along the way. So it's, uh, you know, there's still a fight ahead of us. Albert, the parade is obviously the main event, but there's lots of other stuff that happens around Mardi Gras too. Yes, so the festival traditionally has 12 signature events that's embedded in the two and a half week period of time that we run Mardi Gras. Um, this year we were sadly not able to host any of the major parties, as everyone knows, the COVID pandemic has um, stopped us from doing that. But we still did have our Laugh Out Proud Comedy Festival um, and Queer Thinking, which has also been a fantastic event with my trans stories and my drag stories where we could bring communities together to talk about, you know, the issues that our communities face. Um, but the, the parade, of course, is a super special one this year. And we've taken so many elements of the party, such as the international headliner and our community show, and embedded that and sort of created a bit of a hybrid event in the new parade format that we're seeing this evening. And this is a once in a lifetime experience. Mm. This is never gonna happen again. In 2022, we are back on Oxford Street. So um, we hope everyone ex enjoys this evening's event. And Wonder Mama, you've got a big day ahead of you. What's, um, what have you got ahead in terms of preparations for tonight? Well, we've got, I've got a change. This isn't my outfit for oh, tonight. Oh, right. What's the outfit for tonight or is that a secret? 
Well, it's not a secret because it was on TV yesterday, but okay. um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it will be it's in the theme of our Wizard of Oz theme. And um, and so I've got to get ready. We've got to get over to the SCD. We've got to set up our float and hopefully it all goes well and there's no disaster. I hope so too. It's all yeah. happening. And we thank you very much for sparing the time and speaking to us this morning, Albert Kruger yeah. and Wonder Mama. All the best for tonight. Enjoy. Thank you very happy much. And happy Mardi Gras. <laughs> happy Mardi Gras. You know, I think that even though things are a little bit different, yeah. we can rely on the people at Mardi Gras oh, to put on a fantastic absolutely. show regardless. All that colour, all that fun and laughter and a lot of love as well. Yeah, a lot of it love. It will be fantastic. Yeah. yeah.